Well, hello everyone and welcome. You've heard a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, this video is worth more than a thousand words. I must say this is my favorite nail art look. That said, let me show you how to bling out your nails for any occasion. All products used will be listed in the description below along with other very helpful info. Your choice of soak off gel base coat. Now I didn't use one because it is not necessary to apply base coat over hard gel overlay. Your choice of silver glitter or silver soak off gel polish. A tool to pick up the crystals like this one or a crystal katana dotting tool or an orange wood stick. Thin nail art brush. Clear nail resin. No wipe top coat and LED lamp. You can use regular nail polish, super glue or nail glue but crystals won't last as long. And last but not least, my favorite, no hot fix, flat background, plastic, lead crystal or glass rhinestones or genuine Swarovski crystals like these gorgeous crystals. I could use clear rhinestones but I wanted more oomph and sparkle. These are moonlight color Swarovski crystals, yes they are clear but they have a hint of champagne hue. They are gorgeous and they are more stunning in person. I purchased these on eBay in three different sizes. Swarovski crystals cost more because they clearly outshine and reflect more brilliant sparkle than plastic or even glass rhinestones. Now I've used both in the past however I prefer to use Swarovski crystals for obvious reasons. I've already applied two coats of silver glitter gel polish and one coat of no wipe top coat. Working with one row at a time, I apply a thin coat of resin vertically. You'll see why in a bit. Notice I didn't apply resin all over the nail because I want to be able to move the crystals around if needed before the resin dries. This resin doesn't dry as fast as super glue or nail glue which is great because it does give me more time to move the crystals before they set. I then apply larger crystals in the center on top of the resin. I like to place them close to each other but it's okay if there's a gap between which is why I use silver glitter gel polish to make the gaps less noticeable. Now the crystal placement is up to you, you can apply them this way or you may find a way that works better for you. I apply smaller and medium crystals by the cuticle area and free edge. Now I apply another thin coat of resin vertically next to the first row, being very careful not to touch the crystals. If you apply too much resin or the resin touches around the top of the crystals, your crystals will be very cloudy like this and you'll have to start all over. I did this on purpose so you can see what it looks like if you apply too much resin or if the resin is applied on top of the other crystals. Let me tell you, it was a pain removing all the crystals. By the way, this resin is amazing for crystal application because it's much stronger than super glue or nail glue. Crystals are not going anywhere, they are stuck on your nails. I am stuck on… never mind. <laughs> I then apply no wipe top coat with a thin brush and place the brush between the crystals. Doing this step not only adds shine between the crystals but also secures them in place even more and so they won't snag or catch on anything. Do not apply top coat on top of the crystals, it will take away from the cut of the crystal and the crystal will lose its brilliance and sparkle. So here's what happens if you do, your crystals will look like this plain round crystal balls that is not what you want especially after all the hard work you put in. It will dull your design. Also make sure you apply top coat on the free edge then cure for one minute in LED lamp. Ooh, look at this sparkle. 
Oh my gosh, whether I'm indoors or outside, daytime or nighttime, I cannot get over how sparkly my nails are. I find myself staring at them all the time. I'm sure you're wondering how the heck do you remove them? It's a pain, but it's so worth it. It's similar to removing soak off gel or hard gel overlay, only soaking time is much longer. I'd say anywhere between 25 to 30 minutes or so. Also, crystals can be reused as long as you don't pry them off. I know it's tempting because if you do, they can break. They should just light right off with the help of an orange wood stick or a cuticle pusher. Creating this requires a lot of patience. If you know me, you would know I have zero patience. But I only have patience for things I'm passionate about. And these nails, oh my goodness, I can't get enough of them. These should last at least two to three weeks, maybe more if I'm careful. If a stone falls out, I can easily replace it, no biggie. I've received so many compliments everywhere I go. Some have even taken pictures of my nails. One, they can't believe I did them, and two, they can't believe I placed one crystal at a time. And they all have asked, how long did this take? And I'm sure you're wondering the same. Nail prep and gel polish application about 45 minutes or so and crystal application around 45 minutes to an hour. So in total I'd say about 2 hours. Not bad for someone that doesn't have patience, huh? And to end the year with a bang, I want to do a fun giveaway. So who's ready? Guess how many total crystals I use on my nails in the comments section below. Whoever guesses the closest wins everything you need to create this look everything I showed you and talked about in this video. I think I use other products, but I did not talk about them in the video. So be sure to check out the list of items and giveaway details in the description below. In the event of a tie, the person who answers first wins. Giveaway ends Wednesday, January 10th, and you must be a subscriber to enter. Oh, and entry changes are not allowed. Good luck everyone. Well, I hope you loved watching this video as much as I loved creating these bling bling nails. My gosh, I cannot get enough of them. If you recreate this or similar look, please tag me on Instagram and or Facebook. I'd love to see your creations. Have a fabulous day and a very happy and healthy new year to you and your loved ones. What are you doing for New Year's? I'm going all out again this year. Don't be jealous. Hubby and I are doing nothing. Yep nothing we are going to stay up late and celebrate until eight o'clock <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll see you next year in my 2017 bloopers video take care bye bye